Hello everybody, my name is Scatter. Welcome back to Divine Journey 2. First things first, uh, I have this red arc canister here. And, you know, I, I, I did, I looked back at the footage and this didn't spawn in with the MBT data. Really have no idea how that happened. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and spawn one in. So I wanted to do that on camera just to be sure that nothing uh, funny was going on. But uh, there we go. So there's two. And we should get two extra hearts from that as soon as I put this back on. So there you go. That's pretty great. Uh, also, I realized that uh, I can make the next version of the Dank Null. So all that takes is um, some white stained glass. Which is easy enough. And I can make four of those. It's a bunch of obsidian. And honestly, the steel is not the most, you know. And I don't love how many steel it takes. But yeah, I have a whole extra row. Um, I guess it takes, uh, yeah, 1152 items per slot up from 512, which is uh, which is great. Uh, and uh, so now, monsters nearby. When, <laughs> since when does that happen here? I want it to be, uh, I want it to be daytime when I do this. They must be like on the other side of that wall because there's no way that guy was near enough. Maybe he was. Anyway, I have dug out a spot underneath here and this is where I've decided to put the diesel generator. So the diesel generator can go down here. Power is going to run through over here and then connect up to the bottom of this capacitor. And in the future, I probably will get some sort of, you know, uh, capacitor setup. You know, I, I I really don't know. Just get more for just for the storage, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna embed it in the floor here, and uh, hopefully it's gonna it's gonna work out pretty well. Is it really only six? Let's see. Yeah, six six scaffolding. I need the I need four generator blocks. Also, I did forget about that, but I have everything on me to make it. Generator blocks. Oh, oh, no, I don't. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. This is, uh, yeah, so it's another ore. I'm pretty sure I've never actually seen the ore, but I do have some stairs to make the forged cinesite blocks. And I can just make it out of that. So I don't really have to screw around with it. Because, like, making these, it takes, like, constantin and lava and steel. And, you know, you'd need to do all this out of the ore. But since we just found some, don't really need to mess with all that. You can just make it. There it is. And there's the, there's the quest for it. And then the pipes. So the pipes go there. There. So the diesel will come... Basically straight down. I'm gonna leave this tank, uh, and I'll I'll explain why in a little bit. But then these go all the way up there, scaffolding on either side, and then the rest of it I think goes something like something like this. The rest of it is heavy engineering blocks. Does it take a redstone block? It does take a redstone block. I may not have one of those. I think I I, I may also. Not 100% sure. I did expand the storage system a little bit. Um, by which I mainly, I mainly just mean I put some more stuff in it. But, um, yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice to have a big storage system like that. Rather than having to, uh, you know, just balance everything between a bunch of chests. Wouldn't you know? But, yes, yeah, so that's 8, 5, 13. Okay, so, yeah, just there and then across on top. That should be everything. There we go. Hey, that's super cool. And then fluid can just go down straight from here. Perfect. And then power, this thing doesn't have a GUI or anything, but power just comes straight out of these. So it's, it's going to be hard to tell if power is being generated, I guess. 
But uh, if I just get some connectors and some relays to run it along here, and then I can connect it up to underneath. Really, I'm not super concerned with... I'm not super concerned at the moment with uh, getting it... Did I dig up in the right spot? I did. Uh, with, with getting diesel power, like, you know, I know I just worked towards this for a long time, but mainly the concern right now is with uh, diesel itself because the diesel uh plus osmium is how we get into mechanism so just before i get this set up let me just grab some stuff i'm gonna need and then where's where's clay clay i think is somewhere yep and then i'll get some clay smelted up for terracotta But uh, for the most part, and this is why, by the way, I'm just going to leave the portable tank there for a buffer because then I can just use it to make energized osmium ingots. So I guess the energy comes from diesel. Makes sense. And if I wanted to, I could just pick this up right now and just use it for as much. Uh, well, this is like 20 buckets, so 20 buckets worth, but I'm not going to do that um, until I really strictly need it. Um, so I get a couple of tanks. Either ethanol or plant oil. I mean, both of those, fine, I guess. But yeah, so there's a bunch of osmium unlocking mechanism. Let's claim it. Now, I hope... I was, I, <laughs> I was hoping that was going to give us a trophy of some kind. Maybe I don't get the trophy until into applied energistics. Ooh, and that's just biodiesel around the Certus Quartz. Okay, so now that uh, this is all built, I can put the floor back. And it's cobblestone, and it's kind of ugly, but that's fine. Why am I? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, just like new. Okay, and then, let's go get some Certus. So I believe that's, ch no, that's regular. Okay. Thought it was going to be charged. So this is for applied energistics. And, you know, I'm not sure... I probably need the regular stuff for a lot of it as well. Yeah, the storage components, all this stuff. But then this is going to be for basically the equipment. So I don't need quite as many of these. So I need one for the ME controller. Basically, it looks like I ju I'm just going to need one set. Is going to be the most I'm ever going to need. I guess maybe for the energy acceptor. Yeah. Okay, well, I am going to need more, but let's just make... 16 for now but I will go ahead and make a whole stack of that stuff there we go and here we go into applied energistics certus course wrench sure so no trophy unfortunately but maybe that's coming over here for the scarab I imagine I mean, that would make the most sense, I think. But, uh, yeah, I guess really we could get into, into mechanism now if we wanted. For the steel casing. Or applied energistics. Which, uh, I guess there's not quite a thing for. But I know something about Twilight Forest requires applied energistics as well. So you need Twilight Rock to enter the Twilight Forest. And you make this out of what? So the graphite dust, we can make that. This is a roots herb. Brown dye. I guess I'm going to have to go find cocoa beans. And then the Baycock bloodied stone, which is kind of annoying, but it's not that bad. So we could get into Twilight Forest and then this whole finish exploring the nether deal. So a lot is open right now. It's, it's pretty huge. Um, what I'm going to do before anything else is I am just going to get the um, uh, diesel generator hooked up to our power system. I don't know really how much more... Okay, that's filling. That's good. I don't really know how much more, um, uh, 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 you know, power we're really going to need. Uh, for right now, we seem fine where we are. But, uh, you know, just for the sake of it, I'll get it hooked up, and then I won't need to get it hooked up in the future. Uh, so let me just go craft some relays and wires and such. All right, so I'm not really 100% sure how to best set this up. So I need... I need a connector here. 
right, of course. And then I need energy input on the side. But then this, if I have this coming down straight to here, and then this can go over here, and then to the, well, that might actually just reach out, right? Let me try. Um, the wire. Will that reach all the way over here? I know it's 16 blocks. No, not quite. So I do need another relay. This down to here should be fine. I'll take that out and put it I'll put it back up on the other side. For no real reason at all. But this should work. Right? So out. Oh, that was already linking from there. Okay. And then there, and this should be powered. Um and it's not, maybe that's a sign that this is not working. I guess it would probably be moving as well. Maybe, maybe this does need to be directly connected instead of having the, uh, the tank there. I don't have another pipe is the thing to test it. Um, hmm. Or maybe it's just not powered because it's, you know, uh, there's nothing in the way, you know, there, it's, there's nothing to power, so it's not going to kick in, possibly. Uh, I don't know, that would be a little strange. See, this is always going to stay full, so it's hard to tell when it's actually draining. But if I... There we go. Okay, I think that was it. Yeah, there we go. I just had to turn this on output, which I may have to do every time I put it back, but uh, this should be... Yep, okay. <laughs> Not the safest way to test. That's okay. And then connect that to there, and hopefully this just works without anything being in the way. Yeah, perfect. Couldn't ask for anything better. Right, so now... All I need to do is just fill everything back in. That that did get in the way, so... Uh, I mean, I could just have this going straight down here. And I might just do that in order to avoid having to not put a block there. I do have the wires for it, so it's fine. How am I going to do this without being in the way? Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Now that... <laughs> Come on. There we go. So there. Now all this... That should work. Right? If I go back around to the other side just to make sure that everything is still connected. It's a little tedious, but once I have this set up, I can just never touch it again. So it's all fine. Yeah. Right? Yeah, everything's still connected here. Perfect. Wow, this is working out much better than I thought it would. And uh, I don't have any torches. I'll mean to light up the rest of down here. But what's the worst that could happen? I'll just fill the dirt back in and... It's just like brand new. It's like nothing ever happened there. No one will ever know that there's a diesel generator underground. Okay, well, that's that solves. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I got a couple more of these loot bag things from the root serbs. I realized after watching it back that I actually got two ender pearls on this one that I opened. This time I got a bottle of enchanting, which is fine. Um, this time I'm going to get four copper nuggets from Mystical Worlds and a piece of rotten flesh. Okay, great. Okay, well, I'll just stick these in the... Are these just regular copper? What the hell? They're not useful for anything. They don't have a recipe. Um, <laughs> that's... Okay. Fine, if that's what you want to give me. Stick those in there, and then whatever else I have on me. I did actually clear, clear out uh, my inventory quite a bit compared to what it was like before. Okay, but now we have power generation. Like, we don't have automated, you know, oils. Or anything. The ethanol is full. The plant oil is not. And uh, you know, to that end, let's just grab the uh, grab the plant oil from there. 
There we go. And, um, yeah, that's going to make some more, some more diesel. That's emptying into, I guess, just the tank. I don't really know what's using it right now. I guess nothing. It should back up. Ah, fuck. <laughs> should back up. I mean, it looks, it looks backed up. I, it's probably just being used. I mean, you hear that you hear the generator, right? That's that's what you can hear, I imagine. So, uh, yes. Okay. So next up, next up, I can just claim all of this stuff. There's some some of that nether stuff. I'll take gold over silver. I have tons of silver. Reinforced portable tank. Ooh, 180 buckets. This is an insane get. I don't know what I'm going to use that for. I I don't need that much diesel. I don't know if I'm going to be needing more coal coke in the future, but that's, wow, that's incredible. Um, okay, but that's all, that's all the rewards. For now, I'll, I'll just stick it in here because, like I said, I just have no idea what that would be useful for. But, uh, wow, okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Twilight Forest. Or even, should I even just go for the rest of the nether tree first? Because this, all this stuff is useful. I mean, this is the wither and wither stars, which is uh, really like, or not wither stars, nether stars. And I think those end up being really useful. Right? And I think you may need it for like some mob farming stuff. I mean, beacons are just useful as they are. Crystal matrix ingot. This is probably... Well, I mean, this is way later, but, you know, still, that's going to be useful to have. And then, really strictly, unless I wanted to, like, finish out all the immersive stuff, which feels like not really something I can do right now. Um, I guess I'll just continue on with the nether. So, this is the brewing stand. I said I was going to make this ages ago, and I never did. Um, and the reason I never did is because I realized that I could just get fire resistance with the totem pole and the medicine bag rather than doing it uh, through potions but it wants me to make it for a quest anyway so i see no reason not to do that so we're going to need three steel rods and we're going to need some blaze rods as well super easy at this point so there's the brewing stand done and i suppose i'll put it right next to the bed it's a fine spot and uh yeah so i can make potions now and starts us off with a couple of things constantan fishing rod electrum fishing rod um that's surprising to see there from fire to water wants a potion of water breathing so it's it's wanting us to uh go for ocean temples which is kind of cool i didn't really expect that but uh yeah let's get into let's get into some potions so let me get some glass and just make a bunch of bottles i've never really um gotten into this side of minecraft you know this is vanilla stuff right um for me i usually play modded you know so this is not uh not really my wheelhouse, so I'm kind of excited to get into it. Like, I know you need nether warts to make awkward potions. Or, oh, they don't stack, do they? Oh, no. Okay, well, you make three at a time, so I guess it's fine that they don't stack. Um, and then, well, I'll put this here because it's next to it. And then the nether wart is down here. I have plenty of it. Not what I'm trying to do. And then do you need... Some some fuel for does this have to be blaze powder? That would make sense. So brewing, I mean, I I guess it does, right? This is I. <laughs> you're seeing how little I know about vanilla Minecraft here. I don't think I've ever used a brewing stand in the entire game. Um, I'm going for my pestle. I think this is the way I can get the most out of these at the current moment. So I got five per. I had some on me already. That's okay. 
Let's throw it in here. Oh, it is, it is this. Okay, you just can't shift click it in. Wait, I wonder then. Nah, it has to be. It has to be the blaze. Okay. Okay, well, that's fine. So this will go. And does it use like one blaze powder per operation, probably? Like this will just stop? Yeah. Okay. And then I know there's ways. Yeah, bottling machine here from Immersive. You can like automate this a little bit more and just make the straight up liquid rather than having to do it in these bottles, which may be better. But for now, this is fine. And I'm gonna grab actually one of the, um, some of the iron chests we got from a reward here. I'm gonna stick this next to it and then just use this for potions. And basically everything related to it, I'll throw in there. So there may be a way to automate that uh, with the brewing stand itself. Not sure, but basically, okay, to make the eight minute one, you need to put redstone in the three minute one, which is fine. And then, so you need puffer fish or skeletal fish. Probably going to be puffer fish though. So this is why it wanted the, uh, the fishing rod, which makes sense. Let me just throw everything in here. And uh, then I guess we're going fishing. You know, I feel like this episode's been kind of all over the place so far. A time like this, it's nice to just lay back. Fishing rod. Cold one. And just fish. Alright, it's been a long day of fishing. I got this uh, Lure 2 fishing rod from fishing. I was hoping to get through all of it before... Um, the uh, the day was over, but unfortunately couldn't be there. And I could have just set up the TP, TP rather, uh, but that's fine. Also, the slash home, um, it was instant because I, I had cheat mode on to spawn in the heart canister before. Uh, let me let me go fix that really quick. All right, that's all fixed now. Hopefully, none of you think the uh, playthrough is ruined as a result. I'm sure you can forgive me. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's just make some. Water breathing potions. So I guess maybe does one blaze powder just get used up this slowly? I guess it would make sense if it, you don't need that many of them. I mean, they're supposed to be. Well, I was going to say kind of hard to come by, but I guess you can just camp the spawner in vanilla Minecraft too. Um, so maybe not. But yeah, so there's the, uh, there's the three. And let's just grab a redstone to make the eight minute ones. So then th these last almost a half hour then on their own. And then we can make another set out of the other buffer fish. Let's just see. Is this going to be used for really much else? Ring of water breathing. I'm going to need more for that anyway. Yeah, I mean, I need at least two for all this stuff. Yeah. Try it into fugu jerky, which is funny. Interesting. So you can mix it and make potions that way. But the brewing stand is going to be fine for now, I think. Let's just grab three more awkward potions. Not that one. There we go. Hey. And what do we get out of that? Enchanted book, Respiration 3. So I imagine that's a water breathing enchantment for uh, possibly a helmet. But like all the other enchanting books, I'm just going to save them until later when I can uh, duplicate them with bibliocrafts, which sounds like a great idea. Yeah, let's just make a bunch of these. And then, what does it want after that? Find an underwater monument and raid it using your water breathing potions to obtain some prismarine shards and prismarine crystals. Later, you'll be able to craft them from quartz with an atomic reconstructor and some kind of a crusher. Okay. Well, this is going to be cool, though. I've never actually been to a... Uh, never been to a, a water thing. Do I need... Am I going to need some, like, night vision as well? How do you make a night vision potion? Potion That's just a golden carrot. Yeah, let's make some night vision as well. I don't know if night vision is going to help with underwater vision. I imagine it would, right? But let me get some of those crafted up. And then we can head out, I guess. 
Let's get a stack of those. And then need some carrots. Oh, before anything else, I'll need some more water bottles. And then same thing, just redstone. Yeah. Makes sense. And I just need one of those. This is going to be fun. I'm excited now. I again, I have no idea what to expect from a uh, from an underwater. What did it even call it? Underwater monument, sea temple, whatever you want to call it. I'm very excited. Throw that one in. We can throw everything else in there. We got that. And then, well, I can just keep the rest of these in the backpack, right? That'll be fine. Fishing rods in there. These I'll just scrap. I don't have a thing for ink sacks. Well, now I do. And, I mean, <laughs> I want to scrap the lily pad, but given how much uh, trouble I had getting one of those before. So, yeah, so night vision and, and this. I'll have a sword. I'll have a pick. Um, I meant I made this pick also, if you've noticed this. I made it with all paper. Well, I, no, I made it with a paper handle and a paper uh, binding thinking that that would give me two writable modifiers and I'd be able to stack five uh, re reinforcements on there and then have an unbreakable pick. But I only got one writable and it only has four modifiers. So I don't know, actually know how to get five modifiers on a tool. I tried one with uh, prosperity shards as well, which also have writable. Didn't really change anything. So um, yeah, not, not really 100% sure what the deal is there, but uh, whatever, it's fine. Stuff all that in there for now. Okay, well, I guess now we just need to find an underwater monument, right? Shouldn't be too hard. I'm sure I've boated by one of these, right? At some point, I must have. So let me just go off in search of one, and as soon as I find one, I'll cut back in. Okay, I don't think this is what I'm looking for, but it's cool regardless. So I'm going to check it out, but there's just these... Whatever these blocks are, I'll, I'll take the potion now just so I don't die down here. Um, the, the, I, I have no idea what this is. That's prismarine crystals. Okay. Okay, well, good. Uh, I don't think I found an ocean monument, but that's that. Let me see if I do take the night vision potion. Can I see down here any better? Yeah. Oh, my God. I was so happy with that. Wow. I didn't think it was going to be that good. Okay, I think there were a couple more of those. Somewhere. Harder to see now, of course, because they don't... The light doesn't stick out, but... I, I thought there were more. I don't really see them now, but... See, you can just kind of fly around with the sky soar underwater here. It's very cool. But, of course, it's harder to tell what's really going on. Oh, look at this. Maybe this is something... Oh, there's a chest. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. And glowstone. Well, all right then. Very cool. I don't think that's what I was meant to be looking for here. So here's a guardian. I think those are meant to be like nearby. Maybe. No. He dropped kind of some of what I wanted anyway. Oh, there's tons of them. Wow. And also a big thing. Looks like a whale. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen one of those yet. Oh, come on. I don't like that thing that you're doing. Namely, hurting me. I 
if I could find one of these monuments it's talking about. If I go above the surface now, do I still have... I can still definitely see better under there than I could before. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, wow, well, you can just kind of see everything, can't you? Wow. Okay, I'm going to drive around for a little bit and see if I can't find an actual monument or a temple or some such thing. And uh, we'll cut back in again. Wow, there's like a chest under here. Some kind of chest. Whoa. Hmm, interesting. Look, there's another one. Wish you could move a little faster under here. Because I always have the sky sorter, but that's a little unruly for this. But uh, check out what's in there. All right, cool. But look at this, though. Look down here. This is like magical. This is so cool. I don't know if this is what I'm meant to be going after. These guys are probably going to get mad at me again. Yeah. But then, though, that, whatever that blue ore is... Is that Corallium from Abyssal Craft, maybe? Are we just in a biome where that spawns more, or does it, like, spawn more underwater? Even just a faster sinking. Oh, I'll grab that emerald for sure. Hey, there's the, uh... All the stuff I needed for the quest. Let's take care of this guy again. So now I wonder... So whatever I need it for, I need the Wither Star as well. Oh, I'm about to die. Mm -hmm. Nah. I'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> Dying here would be pretty awful because I'm not going to have the uh, potions when I spawn back in. Okay, it's fine. Look, I even got saturation, so I'm going to heal all the way back up. Okay. Now, just really quickly. What is this ore? This is Corallium from Abyssal Craft. Okay. So I don't really need that as much. But yeah, this, this is such a cool little area. This is so cool. And I pretty much haven't... I haven't found what I'm... Oh, that's not the surface. I haven't found what I'm looking for, even. This is just very, very cool. Look at this with the night vision, too. Wow. So wait, now hang on. If I... So pretty requires this. So what is this actually used for? This is what it wants me to make, a magical snow globe. To activate this globe, it must travel to any seven di the different biome types. I wonder then, is that like an alternate dimension? Is that like a fast travel type thing? Genuinely, I have no idea. Okay, I know we're running a little long here, but I do want to find a legitimate underwater um, monument before ending here, so. Oh! And I think I just have. These are both going to run out in a minute. The Guardians are going to kick my ass, I think. <laughs> Let me get out of here. Did I not take the other night vision potions? Are you kidding me? Well, in and out. Quick job. If I just mine all this up. Uh. Oh, no. Get me out of here again. That's just prismarine bricks. And I imagine you can't just turn that back into regular. Lightning crusher. Well, that's probably not what I want. It's probably not something I can do right now. I wonder, is this even 
the type of monument it wants me to go after. Dark Prismarine. Oh no. Here we go. Come on. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so I should be breaking the lamps. That's really not doing me any favors, though. I can't believe I didn't grab any more of the, uh... Night vision potions. I feel so stupid. I feel very scared because I don't know what that big ding dong was. Um, four potions of water breathing, and that's it. Hmm. What if I just mined up the floor? Not gonna happen. Wait, mining fatigue. What gave me mining fatigue? I don't feel good about this. Must have been these guys, right? Come back. Let me at least hit you so I can get some good effects from the sword. Remember how it does that? so far away how can you still do this to me so like do you just well before I forget I'm marking this with a waypoint uh, underwater monument so I'll be able to find this if I die when I die I probably won't die I'll just head back Okay, so I guess it does you just you just are meant to just mine up the the walls and such. So in that case, I think I'll just come back, let the mining fatigue run its course. Just come back and mine up as much of it as I can. Get the water breathing out of the way. Maybe I'll even get some offensive or defensive potions to use against these guys. But um yeah, I mean that's not too exciting, so I think I'll just do that before the next epi here. But uh I'll just grab up a bunch of uh, prismarine shards and crystals. Unless, you know what? Do I even need to do that? I need one of each to make this snow globe that it wants. You know what? I probably don't even need it. Potion of haste. I might just, I might just leave it. I might just leave it. It's on the, it's on the map for whenever I want to go back. But um, I think I'm just going to leave it. I have what I, I got what I wanted. I got what I needed out of that. And uh, I know where it is if I want to go back. But uh, for now, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.